Hi besties and welcome to my mid-month check-in for the month of September. If you are new here, hi, I'm Destiny. I'm a 23-year-old who shares her life on the internet. If you are returning, hi bestie, welcome back. I am so grateful and excited that you're here. Um, again, this is going to be my September mid-month check-in. I think that doing check-ins on your goals in the middle of the month is just the perfect time and perfect opportunity to reevaluate the goals that you said in the beginning of the month, see if those are things that you still wanna focus on for the last few weeks of the month, um, if there's anything new that you want to focus on during the month, I just think that this is a great time to just check in with yourself and your goals and that's exactly what I want to be doing during these videos. So we're just going to get right into it. I intend for these videos to be quick and pretty to the point in comparison to my monthly resets which I plan to go into more detail with you know, planning goals, favorites, things like that. So hopping right into finances, my first financial goal was to pay off my Best Buy credit card completely. Um, by the end of September, it should have about $300 remaining um, to pay on there and that I'm on track to pay that by the end of October, so that'll be another debt paid off. Um, $500 mini emergency fund by the end of September if you know all my payments go. As planned I should have $200 left to save for that and I'm also on track to pay that by the end of October so October should be a very good month of crossing off goals um, September not so much but that's okay that's why we check in and reallocate <laughs> um, my last financial goal is to pay off my birthday cruise completely and that is on track to be done by the end of September so that's exciting Now on to content creation goals. Um, the first goal I had was to continue to be consistent with YouTube. I have been doing this. Um, when I set this goal, I was posting on YouTube every other Sunday and actually this past weekend, I decided that I wanna try my hand at uploading on YouTube weekly. So instead of every other Sunday, you should expect a post from me on youtube every single sunday and again i'm just seeing how this works out i do work a full-time job during the week so i'm just gonna try my hand at this and if it doesn't work out for me that's perfectly okay but i do want to give it a try because youtube has been my favorite platform so far to create content for um my next goal was to remain consistent with my podcast i do have a podcast called the in your business podcast it's submission based i read my listeners uh submissions as well as stories from reddit and just give my feedback on it it's super fun and i have been remaining consistent with that i upload new episodes every other sunday and i do plan to stick with it every other sunday upload schedule and you will see why in a second um, my next goal was to have a guest on the podcast and I did that my boyfriend Dominic um, was on an episode of the podcast it was the worst date stories episode and that episode got such good feedback and it was so much more fun to film together then by myself that we decided to take on the podcast as a joint project which is super exciting and super fun um which is why i'm gonna stick with the bi-weekly uploads of new episodes just because dom is in the military and his schedule is not set like my work schedule and it's just easier to know that we will always have a podcast episode ready to go every other week than stress about having uploads up and ready weekly so that's a yes <laughs> um post on my instagram feed 
yes i did this but i do think that i need to plan out kind of what i want my instagram feed to be i think i have my stories like down like i can post a instagram story literally every day and not worry about it but i don't know the instagram feed it's not really my kind of thing so i know it's something that i have to put extra effort into if i do want my instagram to grow which i do um post on tiktok youtube shorts and instagram reels yes i have been doing this and i have been having so much fun doing this i pretty much post with the intention to post on tiktok and if it fits into my branding of my what did i say instagram and youtube then i just repurpose repurpose those videos and upload them on there as well so that's how i've been doing that and it's been working out pretty good um so that's just how i plan to continue to use my short form content again the focus is more tiktok and then if i can repurpose those videos onto my other platforms i'll continue to do so so that's a yes share slash promote my platform so basically like share my youtube on tiktok share my tiktok on instagram share my podcast however um was the goal so far i haven't been doing such a good job at doing that i think i need to figure out how to do that while i don't know like remaining with the brand and like content that i want on each platform so that's going to take a little more work but again that's why we check in with ourselves in the middle of the month so i do have a few more weeks to work on that and get that to a yes <laughs> As far as my bestie check, um, my bestie check is just me following up on how many followers slash subscribers besties <laughs> that I have on all my platforms. Again, I am just sharing my life with you and I want to share the process of growing as a creator. So I'm just being open and honest with my numbers. Um, for Instagram, by the end of September, I have a goal of 850 followers. Right now I'm at 834, which is an increase since the beginning of, no, it just decrease since the beginning of the month and that is because i did an unfollow spree on instagram and basically just unfollowed you know people from middle school that i don't talk to content creators that don't really align with me that i don't really like follow so it's expected that a lot of people will you know unfollow me back which is perfectly fine and understandable um it just makes me understand that it will take some more time for me to grow my instagram than my other platforms just because i did unfollow a lot of people so as of today i'm at 834 followers out of the 850 followers that i want to be at by the end of the month um, YouTube, I am at 27 subscribers out of the 50 followers that I want by the end of the month. Um, this is an increase since the beginning of the month, so thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here and happy that you are enjoying the content that I've been putting out. Um, TikTok, I'm at 87 out of 100. In my monthly reset, I think that I said that I had 113 followers on TikTok and my goal was to get to 150. I don't know where I got the 113 number from. So we're just kind of starting from scratch with that goal with the 87 followers that I have right now. And my goal is to get to 100 by the end of the month. I do think that I can do this because I've been pretty on it with the TikToks. Um, Spotify, this is my uh, Spotify for podcasters, basically people who subscribe to the In Your Business podcast on Spotify. Um, right now, as of today, I have five subscribers, followers on there. And my goal by the end of the month is 15. Um, again, I have to just work on promoting the podcast. And now that I have Dom, you know, recording with me as well, I do think the podcast is more enjoyable than just when it was just me so i'm excited to see how that grows so again i have a few more weeks to get to that goal um apple for apple Podcasts, it still says not enough data so um that one is gonna be i don't know we'll look at it at another time <laughs> um 
let's see and then overall podcast plays i'm at 37 out of my goal of 50 for the month and that also is an increase since the beginning of the month so looks like content wise we're doing pretty good lastly we're gonna go over my general goals for the month and the first one I had was to take 7,500 steps a day and I did end up changing this goal and I'll go into this into this in more detail in my September October reset um, but just quickly I was going on like unintentional walks to try to meet this goal and it just wasn't what I wanted for my fitness journey so I decided to change this to scheduled movement five times weekly and basically I made a workout schedule for myself that includes um, Pilates at my local gym as well as MixFit um, if you don't know I'm a MixFit instructor MixFit is a dance fitness format so MixFit or Pilates um, five times a week is what I'm wanting to do so and with mixed fit usually I reach far beyond that 7,500 steps goal so basically just tweaking it to make my workouts more intentional for me um diversify my mixed fit classes basically go to classes that I wouldn't usually go to I actually did that today um one of my close mixed fit mentors um subbed substituted a class today and I went and it was super good to see her and just see a face that I don't usually see so I'm gonna say yes to that so far um complete two books I finished one book literally during the first week of September and I'm working on the next one so I think that this will be completed again I have a whole book section during my monthly reset so you'll hear much more about that um, in a few weeks and then the last one was apartment improvement and decorating I have been working on this mostly the decorating part um, I would say that our living room area is pretty much how we want it there's just one uh, like the TV entertainment stand that I want to redecorate and then the kitchen's pretty good the entrance I want to add like some photos bathrooms are pretty much good so basically the second bedroom which is our office slash fun room needs a lot of work and then our bedroom <laughs> needs a lot of work so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on going forward but I have been decorating so I'll say yes to that one as well but that is gonna be a wrap for my September mid-month check-in I hope that you loved checking in with me for this month um, upcoming for the rest of the month I have a few more vlogs and then my October reset video will be up so thank you so much for watching all the way through and I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Smooches!